We're going to start with the Mustard R43 size 12 dry fly hook for this yellow Sally stone fly. Run our tying thread back to about there. We need some yellow grizzle hackle fibres. the tail one there that's gone astray yeah then we need a bright yellow CDC hackle, pull that through, catch it into the tail base, then we'll go up the abdomen, hackle plier on that, and we need a twist and wrap here for a long slender body. Remember to not to twist it all at once, you need to do it gradually otherwise the hackle will break. And pull all these fibres up and catch them in so we don't lose them. off. Move the hackle plier. Trim that off. Trim off all the CDC fibres so you get the segmented body. Good. And I'll do as I just secure it all. Go back up into that. Then what we need is two uh, light done hackles. And what we do is we strip off the fibres from one side like that, opposite sides on each of the hackles, and then we just pull these fibres out like so. We put a drop of UV resin just there and we pull those through like that and holding it in place we give it a blast with the UV light and once you've done that with both of them you'll end up with two wings like that. So I just position these wings a little shorter than the tail Good. And then we can, without trimming the tail off, and without harming the wings, just position those. That's good, that'll do us. Let me lift up all this, trim it off. Go forward just to keep them in position. Just walk them around. 
there we go that's good so then what we need is a little length of polypropylene catch it in lift and catch like so it's the right position as well this is for our parachute hackle we just go up there like that tighten it up and we go around the base to strengthen the post for the parachute hackle like so back into there tiny drop of UV resin so just stiffen the post give it a blast yep, that's good then I need my hackle yellow grizzle hackle go around there like that and then we'll wind this up the post and back down again down the end of the hackle just to secure it then we want to go back here then we load a petit jean tool with yellow cdc i don't want it that long so i'll trim that off before i transfer it to the clip and then we don't want it that long so all I need there is so much. That's perfect to split our tying thread. There we go. Well, open up your thread. Put the yarn tool in there. Catch the fibres in it. Spin everything up to make a dubbing brush. And then we'll use the dubbing brush for the thorax and the legs. Take our whip finish tool. Tie that off, remove the tying thread, and we can just trim down a little of this CDC. That's good, then we need to turn the fly around. Put that in the vise this way now. I'll take our tying thread. reattach the tying thread at the base, the very base of the uh, parachute post tie it in nice and tight let's keep that out of the way for the time being then we can wrap our hackle taking care that each turn is under the last one and work your way down into the thorax to there that will do us 
the carhackle plier and we make a whip finish right at the base of the thorax under the parachute that's good and we can remove that turn the fly around like so oops that's the same way again like so we take our cauterizing tool and we melt the parts down can use a lighter but it's much more safer to use a cauterizing tool take it right down so it melts into the top of the heckle and holds it in position and that's it that's the little yellow parachute stormfly the heckle point that I don't like so that out. There we go. That's it. Thanks for watching.